Now, with Derek Carr being taken off the quarterback market, it looks like we can all assume that the New York Jets are going to be putting in all their efforts into trying to trade for Aaron Rodgers. They already have Nathaniel Hackett as their offensive coordinator, which him and Aaron Rodgers have a good relationship with each other, dating back to when Nathaniel Hackett was on Green Bay's coaching staff. And many people expect Aaron Rodgers to get traded to the New York Jets if he wants to part ways with the Green Bay Packers organization. But let me lay you guys out a hypothetical scenario. And many of you Jets fans are probably not going to want to hear this, but what if Aaron Rodgers comes out and he says, you know what, I want to finish my career in Green Bay. Or he says, I want to get traded to the Las Vegas Raiders and I want to be reunited with my former teammate, Devontae Adams. If you're the New York Jets and you can't trade for Aaron Rodgers, what's next for you at quarterback? What are your options? Because you don't really have too many. When it comes to the free agency pool, Derek Carr, he's already gone. You could have Jimmy G, which him and Robert Sala already have a pretty good amount of familiarity with each other. Yeah, he's not as talented as Aaron Rodgers. He's a little bit under Derek Carr in terms of talent but he's still pretty solid the questions that you have about Jimmy Garoppolo is can you trust the guy to stay healthy for a whole entire season and then if you can't get Jimmy G are you going to go after Baker Mayfield Marcus Mariota I mean those are low-end quarterbacks at least with Jimmy G he's a respectable quarterback he's a serviceable quarterback Maybe you trade for Ryan Tannehill. It looks like the Tennessee Titans may end up going in on a rebuild. They are getting rid of some key pieces. Rumors are circulating around that they're looking at shopping Derrick Henry. Maybe Ryan Tannehill could end up being on the trade block. And then maybe if you're willing to give up the money and the compensation, you just go all out on trying to get Lamar Jackson which is a realistic possibility because him and the Ravens aren't coming any closer to terms on a new contract. And of course, the Ravens are going to want at least three first round picks in exchange for Lamar Jackson. But if you're the New York Jets and let's say Derek Carr is off the table, Aaron Rodgers, you can't trade for him. You can't get Jimmy G. What other options do you have? Desperate times call for desperate measures. And if you get Lamar Jackson, that puts you in Super Bowl conversation because your roster already is pretty good, although the offensive line does need some more fine-tuning. The defense is stout. The weapons that Lamar Jackson is going to be throwing to on the outside, Garrett Wilson, Elijah Moore, you're going to have Brees Hall in the backfield. I mean, the Jets with Lamar Jackson would be really fun to watch. Now, if you can't get Lamar and you can't trade for a quarterback, are you going to try to roll the dice again in the draft and try your hands at drafting another quarterback? Maybe this time you trade up higher and try to get a Bryce Young or CJ Stroud. I mean, Chicago is shopping the number one overall selection. And for the New York Jets, you should have enough compensation to at least get into one of the top four slots in the draft. If you really are that desperate, and if you get C.J. Stroud or Bryce Young, without a doubt, those guys should be better than Zach Wilson. Or are you going to bring back Mike White and then have him and Zach Wilson slug it out to see who ends up being the starting quarterback for next season? If you're a New York Jets fan, I know this scenario probably gives you nightmares, but I don't think enough people are talking about this. And I think that there is a great chance that Aaron Rodgers stays with the Green Bay Packers. But you never know. The NFL is an unpredictable league. But I just find it a little bit dumb that the New York Jets are in this situation. And it looks like they're probably holding hope that they can get their hands on Aaron Rodgers. I find it dumb that they're putting their hands of their franchise and a guy who we don't even know is available for trade. And then, not to mention, if Aaron Rodgers comes in there, are they even going to be able to 
compete right away because he wasn't even able to get good chemistry down with Romeo Dobbs and Christian Watson when those guys were on the field and they were healthy. You got Aaron Rodgers going to a new team. He's going to have to learn his new teammates. He's going to have to get the chemistry down. And he didn't really do a good job at trying to get the chemistry down last offseason with his new receivers. So maybe he has a change philosophy going to the New York Jets. But if the Jets can't trade for Aaron Rodgers, honestly, what's next? And it's really dumb that we got to ask this question. Because when you're an NFL franchise, you shouldn't be putting all your eggs on one basket. There were teams who were holding out hope at trying to get Russell Wilson last offseason. And you saw how that went with the Denver Broncos. For the New York Jets, there aren't really a lot of options out there for you to go at quarterback if you can't trade for Aaron Rodgers. So if you can't get Aaron Rodgers... Your only options, at least when it comes to the free agency pool, are going to be Jimmy Garoppolo, Baker Mayfield. I heard somebody say Marcus Mariota. I mean, Marcus Mariota, he could be all right. I mean, he can't be no worse than what you had last year. But at the same time, this was the same person who got benched for Desmond Ritter. So I don't even know. But this could be a really scary situation for the New York Jets. If they don't get Aaron Rodgers. And I think that this question needs to be asked a lot more. Because there is a good possibility that the New York Jets potentially walk away from free agency with no Derek Carr, no Aaron Rodgers, and maybe no Jimmy Garoppolo. Because then the market for Jimmy Garoppolo is even going to be a little bit higher with the fact that Aaron Rodgers is not going to be on the market if he does want to stay in Green Bay. So then you're going to have Carolina who's in need for a quarterback. Maybe the Falcons. Maybe they go after Jimmy Garoppolo. Maybe they still feel like Desmond Ritter needs a little bit more time. So the market for Jimmy Garoppolo is also going to be fairly competitive. And if you're the New York Jets, are you really going to want to have to put your hands in the pot? at trying to win another bidding war for somebody. We thought that Derek Carr was going to the New York Jets. Last time I was reading some reports last night that said that the meeting went fantastic between Derek Carr and the New York Jets and that he was expected to go to New York. And then this morning I wake up and he's signing a four-year $150 million deal with the New Orleans Saints. (laughs) This is a situation that if you're the New York Jets, You really don't want to find yourself in. And I'm going to ask you guys. Do you guys really think that is Aaron Rodgers a bust for the Green Bay Packers? If the New York or for the New York Jets. If the New York Jets can't get Aaron Rodgers. Are they done? Is Robert Sala finished? Will they even be able to fill the team that would be competitive enough to compete for a playoff spot? 